So we've talked about password managers and the risks to using a password manager, but also the benefits that you can have secure passwords that are encrypted on your computer, that it's hard for people to exploit it. But we also have talked about the risks of password managers, that sometimes they are exploited. A couple months ago, we talked about LastPass and what to do there. And this time what we're talking about is KeePass. It just came out a couple weeks ago that KeePass was, there was an exploit discovered where if somebody got access to your computer, they could go in, do a memory dump and get their your password, your master password to KeePass. And that is a known exploit now. It is a major risk um, that somebody could come in if they had access to your computer, export your password and then have access to all of the passwords that you save in KeePass. And so it always is a risk when using a password manager that, that if somebody gets your password dump, that they have everything. So what's this mean to you? If you're a user of KeePass, make sure you keep an eye out for updates. They, KeePass has said they'll do an update in June of 2023. The other thing is we want to make sure that we imp- uh, have as much security as we can and protect that password vault as much as we can. So if you have MFA um, enabled multi-factor authentication so that if you have um, boundaries set so that only certain people can get to your computer because one of the things that had to happen to get access to your files on KeePass is someone needed access to your computer. And you say, well, that's pretty obvious. I'm not gonna give someone access to my computer. Nobody else has access to my computer. Well, that's the other thing that we try to protect people from is how do you keep people off of your computer? It seems pretty obvious, but you gotta make sure you don't let anybody on. And how do you let people on? It happens all of the time. The number of people that every day get a pop-up on their computer that says, hey, Microsoft says you have a problem, you, we need to help you urgently, people call those numbers and they go try it out. So then you get that pop-up, you think that it is a legitimate pop-up, they make it look just like a Microsoft alert. You pick up the phone, you call that 800 number that came up on your screen that says it's from Microsoft, turns out it routes you off to a scam center in another part of the world. They then remote into your computer and then once they're in your computer, they have you open up your key pass or whatever you're using. And while they're in there doing that, and you know, you think you're talking to Microsoft, they ask you to go to a web page that pops up your password manager. You type in your credentials, and then it is just a matter of another couple steps t- that they can download all of your files. So what do you do? Keep people off your computer. What I don't want you to do is have a knee-jerk reaction and decide that you need to go change password managers now that KeePass has had an exploit. Because like LastPass, when they had issues a couple months ago, you know, I talked about we don't want to just go and export all of our passwords and go to another thing because all of these tools have something in common, the password managers. To get your stuff over to another password manager, you have to turn it into clear text, unencrypted, export it into a text file, and then you go get another password manager, upload that into another text file. And unless you have some pretty good IT skills, chances are that plain text file with all those passwords is still going to be sitting on your computer. And then it's really easy for anybody that gets access to your computer to search your file, your computer for that file that's going to have some passwords in it because there's going to be some tools, some websites in there that all of us go to. And it's a pretty quick search to find those on your computers um, if you've exported that into plain text. So don't do that. If you're a KeePass user, just make sure in 20, in June that you go out and you keep an, up, an eye out for that update that fixes this flaw because all software has flaws in it and there's known vulnerabilities in just about everything. So if you find this interesting, go ahead and like us and uh, subscribe to our, our, our YouTube pages. Go ahead and share it. If you have questions on this, if you need help on how to secure your passwords, how to secure your network, give us a call at Colorado Computer Support. We're experts at this and we help people do it all the time. Our phone number is 719-439-0599 and our web address is www.coloradosupport.com. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next week.